What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Well, kind of. This is going to be a tutorial, uh, but this is for a concept farm that I have. Right now I'm running some tests and uh, they've all failed. And the reason they've all failed um, is because I'm not sure if you can actually grow lily pads or not. Now, if you go to the wiki, okay, it says that they can grow in swamps and can be found fishing. It doesn't say they're located in swamps. If they said located, that would mean that you get them and that's it. It says they grow in swamps. And I am fairly certain that there have been times when I have farmed uh, lily pads and I've gone back to the same swamp and there were more lily pads. Uh, so I don't, I'm not good with command, so I don't know the command to speed up time to test it. Maybe it just takes a really long time. To be fair, I really didn't run that long of a test. I only let it run for maybe 10, 15 minutes in a swamp. This isn't a swamp. I had built it in a, I actually copied my Let's Play World uh, just to build it. And uh, I think it looks really good. So I'm just going to warn you from the beginning. This is a concept. It is not proven to work. So if it doesn't work, don't leave me comments saying it doesn't work. You're going to leave it anyway because I said it people like to be funny on YouTube but I'm just telling you right now I don't know if it works I'm trying to get to the bottom of it because the wiki is just not helpful okay but if it does work and they do grow anywhere any spot that these things decide to grow uh, there they will be farmed so let's give you a little test of that so let's say that one decides that it wants to grow on this spot right here boom it's gonna get farmed just like that Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Then we come down here and you can see it inside. All right, so it's a concept build. I'm not sure if it's go if it's actually going to work. I mean, it looks pretty good though. <laughs> uh, keep You can also build this down if you want. So we're going to build it five up. If you want this to be just on the ground, like the chest to be right here, uh, just go ahead and build it four up. Okay, or I'm sorry, build it uh, just one high. But anyway, let's get into uh, what you need and how to build it. Okay, so you're going to need some hoppers, some stained glass, I'm using dark green, some redstone lamps, some bricks of your choice, some observers, some stone bricks for this build, uh, some green concrete, again, it's just decorative, some chests, some stone slabs, a bunch of water, some glowstone, obviously some lily pads, some mossy stone brick, pistons, some redstone dust, some green uh, stained glass panes, some wooden trap doors, whatever kind you want. Uh, some item frames and some white stained glass. The white stained glass, I just think it pops in the middle here. That was suggested to me by uh, Mr. NG Gaming on Twitter. One of my friends, Nick Griffith. Go check out his channel, by the way. Um, but, yeah, I think it looks really cool. It just kind of pops. You can use green if you want or nothing. I don't really. You just need to be able to open the chest. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to set it up. So we're going to build one, two, three, four, five up in the sky. Okay? And we're going to go 11 by, we're going to make an 11 by 11 square. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And go all the way around with that. Okay, once that's all said and done, you're just going to go ahead and fill in the bottom as well. I'm going to fill in the bottom green. Uh, if you have a lot, I'd say do it. Otherwise, just do, uh, do a rim of it and then put the rest stone brick. Okay, so we're just going to fill it all in like so. Perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to come up on the sides right here with our stone brick. Okay, we're going to end up breaking the ends off, so just leave it for now. Perfect. Okay, then what we're going to do is the second one in right here. So see where this one is, and then we have the second one because we're not counting the end because we're breaking those. So right here, the second one, we're going to put our observers like this, skipping a space of two. Same thing over here. So this is the first one. This is the second one. And you should have four like this on each side. Okay, and you want to make sure the redstone part is facing out. That's why we're doing it from the outside. Okay. Perfect. Cool. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our redstone lamps and put them underneath and out one, like so. Beautiful. Okay. And then I'll explain everything, how you know why it works and stuff afterwards. Perfect. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come underneath, underneath the observers, and we're just going to break those blocks, and we're going to put our pistons, not sticky, just regular pistons, just like so. Okay, and then right after this, we're going to take our redstone dust, so we don't need these anymore. 
we're going to take our redstone dust and we're going to put it right on top of the lights lamps now i don't know if you guys know this but this is one of the first i mean i've done others before but you guys know i like to hide redstone so this is one of the first ones where i actually left the redstone exposed and it's only because you really don't see it if it's high up so if it's on the floor you know you're going to see it but that's okay okay and then when, and then you can go ahead like i said and just break these corners here they're just not necessary now if this if this actually ever does work this would be really awesome because it, I, you know there, there are times when i need um i need lily pads okay so just go ahead oops and cover the uh, spots like this in with your green okay and then i'm just going to go ahead and do the top with green because i have it out but this part is I'm pretty sure this part get, gets covered so you can just put whatever you want here stone brick or whatever no sense in wasting perfectly good concrete whoops okay and you can use wool you know you don't have to use concrete cool okay now pick a side whichever side it really doesn't matter which side just pick whichever side you want okay and what we're going to do is we're going to start here and then see how we have the pistons we're, we're going to start where in between we have the two pistons on the end here we're going to start in between on that block there and we're going to go one two and put it on the third one then we're going to skip a space put it skip a space put it okay so there should be a gap of two okay we're gonna do the same thing on the other side again we're going to go in between the two end pistons right here on that third block out one two three piston skip a space piston skip a space piston perfect now technically we could do another one here uh but i don't i don't just don't i don't know i just don't want to do it so we're going to make this one okay so when you have the, the sets of three pistons facing to the left and to the right this side is the side and the same thing over here that we're going to make one obviously the side where the pistons facing we're going to keep that too okay cool so now we're going to do the same thing we're going to put our observers backwards so the redstone signals on the inside okay we're going to make this wall on the outside too high in between here as well everything's too high perfect and then we're just going to put blocks down on the inside right and then wherever the redstone dust goes which is whoops right behind each of the observers obviously you just don't put redstone uh there so you just crisscross like that perfect and then you can actually just go ahead and cover this up just like that it's not necessary to uh to do anything else with it we just cover that up beautiful now before we go ahead and add water or anything what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and you know what i you know what we did i actually did it wrong this line right here i think is the line that actually has to be green so i'm gonna do that now i think this is the line that has to be green that's funny so all of that stuff on the inside you don't have to make it green which is good because it'll save you you just switch it out with stone brick and it's easier to do it now before we got any of the uh hoppers or anything in okay now let's keep this in mind we're going to be using a lot of hoppers okay and you might ask why not do some kind of water system and with the new mechanics that are going to be coming out in the full aquatic update or the, that are already out now for you uh you lucky java players in the snapshots uh water flow water makes items flow up and i don't know how that's going to respond or react with uh mine carts because we could just do a mine cart technically that just goes around but i don't know how it's going to react if, if the mine cart's going to be able to pick it up fast enough before it floats i don't know how it works so i'm not playing around with um i'm not going to be playing around with uh with too much water so i'm going to be using a lot of hoppers again it's a concept it's a fun build come to the outside where the lamps are okay and right in that middle one see where that middle the two middle ones are just put a block coming out it'll just help us when we put down our um when we put our hoppers down do it on all the sides you could have everything going into one i just like the fact that i can just come up on any side and see if i can find it plus it's a little more storage okay but do it if you want if you just want one in the front i'll tell you what let's just do it that way make it easier for you guys let's just do let's just do everything facing one direction okay so here we go actually let's have it face the other way so i can do a thumbnail <laughs> so there's nothing behind it so we'll do it right here okay so we'll do it right there so now what we're going to do okay you just go ahead and put your um hopper into that one and then i guess we're just going to swing it all the way around so we'll come out 
this way with it, right? First, we'll do this one. Everything has to go into, into the hopper before it, okay? So we'll go like that, and then we'll do this one all the way around. Okay, it's very, it doesn't matter. You can, you can do it whichever way you want. It really doesn't matter. As long as every hopper leads back to that chest. You can put the hoppers in any configuration imaginable, any configuration you want. Okay, I'm just going to do it this way where the inside goes one way, the outside goes the other. I find it to be just easier. Okay, now again, this is a lot of hoppers. This is a complete concept build, guys. If you have the iron, if you have an iron farm, it really shouldn't matter. Okay. And yeah, you know what? Let's actually bring it around that way. Let's bring it all the way around so we have all of that storage just in case this gets full. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to put our chest there like so. Okay. It looks good. Cool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cover this up. Okay, we are going to cover this up. And yeah, the, actually the green in the middle here does look pretty decent. The other way I had it, I actually, uh, I had the stone brick on the inside. But I think the green, I think the green looks a little bit better. Because the whole point of the theme of this is lily pads, right? So we want to make sure we kind of, we kind of keep that, uh, that green lily pad na nature or natural kind of feel to it. So I think the green works really well. And then we're going to go put that in there. Or you can just do it like that. However you want it. I like it like this. Oops. Missed one. Cool. All right. Now let's add some uh, let's add some design to it, shall we? So we don't need that anymore. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need that. Just trying to get everything that we could possibly need right now, which is pretty much everything else up here. Oh, and I also need uh, the glowstone. Um, I don't think I need that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is the part under the chest right here, this goes all the way like this. Okay. And you're going to come one out with it on either side. Okay. The part on the top. Okay. The part on the top up here goes, whoops, in here. Sorry. goes like this. Okay. And then we also do. Uh, another one up top as well like that. How did I do it? Yeah. It's like this. It's the same thing, basically. And again, you're going to come out on the side with it. Just like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do in these corners here, you're just going to bring your uh, mossy stone brick all the way down to the ground like so. Okay. Cool. And then... Let's get rid of that really quick. Next to each of these lamps, except for that middle one, we're going to we're going to go ahead and we're going to put uh, green, and we can actually break this middle one here and put green there. Okay, and for this middle one, obviously since it is a chest, you got to put something transparent above it, which is why I'm going to put that. Okay, let's put that in there really quick. Whoops, not that. I'm going to put that there. Beautiful. Okay, and then we do the same thing on this side. We're going to bring down right to the top. We're going to bring down our mossy stone brick as well. Whoops. Going a little crazy there. Cool. And then we're going to wrap this around. I'm going to actually end up building this in my world anyway because I have a feeling that uh, at some point they're going to be changing li uh, lily pads to grow. Even if they don't now, I just have a feeling they're going to be doing it. it to me, it just makes sense. It should be a renewable resource. Okay. So that's, that's how it's going to look from the front. And now you just do the same thing on all the sides. So again, there's no chest here. We can just go all the way across with it. All the way across. We do the same thing here. We got two on the side. One, one in the middle. And then two on the side. And then same thing. Yeah, it goes all the way across, right? Yep. Same thing all the way across. Whoops, sorry. Not two on the side there. Not the middle one, sorry. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Now, really quick, what, what's going to be here, because I'll just finish the rest myself, but what's going to be here is we're going to replace, see how they have the two, um, you have the two mossy stone bricks here? That top one, we're going to replace with glowstone, just to give this build a little light. And then we're going to put a trap chest on top. I mean, not a trap chest, a trap door on top, like that. And then just for a little decoration, I put some, uh, some dark green uh, glass panes 
like so. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up all around and uh, show you how it looks. Okay, so that's the whole build. Now let's come back in here and all you gotta do is make sure you put the water down. Okay, and then lily pad placement is going to be uh, the biggest deal. Okay, because you wanna make sure you, uh, just in case there's like a, an amount, like a certain amount that uh, are not supposed to be in a certain area, I, I try to space them out. That, that makes the most, where it makes the most sense. Okay, so for me, where it makes the most sense to space them out is on the side that has two, a two wide, we're going to put one on the left, one on the right, and one in the middle. Why there? Because if this one grows this way, there's one there, this way, there's one there, and this way, there's one there. Same thing with this one. One there, one there, one there, and this one. So there's going to be three spots. For the one side, you just got to put one in the middle. Why? Because this one already is covered from this one, and then you got... This one gets these two, and then we're going to do the same thing we did the first side with the two, on the two ends, and then one in the middle. And then again, one in the middle here. So your space, spacing should look just like this. Okay, in my opinion, it's the, it makes the most sense. Again, you push it down, and let's see where the see where it goes. Make sure it goes into our chest, and poof, it's there. So, yeah. Now, I'm also going to add this on top. I don't know if light has anything to do with it. Uh, so I'm going to try and keep it transparent. So I just think it looks, you know, kind of cool this way. But you, you may not like this. Just put it right there. Uh, also, you don't want to keep it too dense for the lily pads because uh, the, it's not 100% lossless. They will occasionally land on the other lily pads. When I, when I, I used to have it really dense, uh, like every other one. And honestly, you'd lose like 50% of them. When I did it this way, you only lose maybe one out of every 10 to 15. So it's not too, too bad. Okay. So again, this is a concept, guys. This is not something that is confirmed to be working uh, or even a thing. But again, I'm hoping that either I'm wrong or I just, I just don't know how to grow them. Uh, or it's a mechanic that's going to be added later on. But either way... It's a concept. I think it's pretty cool. I think it looks good. I'm going to build it anyway because why the heck not? Let's say they change it and then you can grow them if you can now. Look how amazing you're going to be. You're going to be the first person that has a, uh, a lily pad farm before it was even a thing. So you're welcome for that. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to check out this video, just click on the card. If you're on a mobile device, just check in the description. And maybe consider subscribing.